Right, here we go. This is for a complete um, from the beginning startup of Myth TV. I've literally just loaded it from the Docker Hub. Now I'm using guacamole in another. I've got two unraids. I'm using my second unraid with the guacamole on it to go in. I've already set the password up in here. Right, I'm in. I click here, go to system, administration, and this should start up. And yes, we're in. Now, important thing to do here is to put this to the IP address of your Unraid server and put in a security pin here. I'm using 1234 because I've already got that set up on my Kodi. Put the same address. Uh, for the IP4 address, put the same address here down at the bottom as it is at the top. Click Next. Uh, this this section will depend on what region you're in. I'm in England, so I have to use uh, where is it? PAL and PAL Teletext. This will change. There's no point copying my options here if you live somewhere else because they just won't work for you. You'll have to do whatever it is your local region uses and then you can just breeze through if there's other settings that you want to do uh, and you know myth well then you can set those up yourself I'm literally just going through here just to show you how easy it is to get TV working all together right, new capture card it's found my um, cards that are built in um, I'll explain more about that in a minute. Uh, video source is next. Uh, I'm going to call this Freeview. That's the UK service. Uh, transmitted only guide here. That will obviously be different for different regions. Again, if you know Myth, you'll be able to set this up yourself. Then you click your connections here. Next, this is the way I do it. I, I um, select them both first before I do any, any scanning. It saves me having to scan it all twice. And then collect, select the first one again, go back in. Scan for channels. Obviously, again, I'm in the United Kingdom, so this will take a little bit of time. Um, if you're using, uh, well, back to the. Um, Selecting TV cards. Um, I'll put some comments hopefully in the um, support thread. But basically, um, you need to add some extra parameters um, into the template. And also, most importantly, of course, you need to be running the media build um, to get. DVB drivers in, or if you're using a HD home run, you don't need to bother with that. But um, that's I'm just waffling now. Um, so as I said, now this is just doing a scan. Um, probably going to take a little while because it's a fair few channels to find, and I could. Um, if I knew what I was doing more, I, I could just do a selective scan, but I don't know the frequencies in the UK, so I'll just scan in the lot. Depending on what time of the day, it finds either nearly 70 channels or nearly 90 channels. It, um, some of the channels now are off air and they don't show up. But I just rescan it again tomorrow. But this is literally just to show um, that it's working and it's fairly easy to get a system up and running in 15 minutes, less than that. Obviously more advanced settings are going to take some time, but this is just literally to show that you can get TV up and running fairly quickly. And uh, I'm running out of things to say. Um, just be thankful I'm not breaking into song.
It's not normally this slow. It normally does this a little bit quicker. Should explain a little bit about the mappings maybe while I'm here. Um, you've got uh, home forward slash myth TV. That's for the config settings of myth TV itself, and also the configs. That's the config settings of the um, the window environment. So if you move somewhere around in there, those settings will be saved. Then you've got a slash DB, that's for your database, because uh, this has got a built-in instance of um, MariaDB, and you need to save the files for that outside of the container, so there's a, a mapping for that. I'd advise that, well, I would put both of those on your app data, share, um, you know, your preferably cache-only share app data. And then you have a, a, a mapping called varlib. Uh, myth TV and scanning is done. <clears throat> That's for the recordings, and uh, I would map that to wherever you obviously wherever you want to put your recordings. <coughs> Bear in mind that they're gonna, if you do a lot of recording, you're gonna need a lot of space, and that's that finished. Um, now we go to the storage directories, and I don't know the full setup of Myth, but just the default one is the one for recordings, and it's you put in there var lib myth tv slash recordings. Click OK. And uh, now let's check I've done everything, I've done that one, 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 yep, done all of that. Now we click that, you say no here, it's very important to say no here, and no to this as well. If you say yes to them, um, well nothing bad is going to happen, it'll just, it'll just ask you for a password and um, crash. Close this out. I go back to my other Unraid instance, stop the container, Let's let it stop. I could have, could have just hit the restart, actually. then start the container, and I'll just look at the log here. Oh, hold on. Let's go to the dashboard for the log. I'll just look for the log to make sure the container's coming up, and there it is. And if I go to my thing, Shh. click this. There you go. If, I don't know if you can hear that. Live TV. Right, okay, that's 